For the past week or so, I've had a pre-production drone from DJI just sat in my studio not doing a whole lot. In typical English fashion, we haven't exactly been getting drone flying weather. However, today we've got clear blue skies, and the best news is, is that the camper van is now back up and running with a new alternator and a fresh set of carbs. I'd found a location that looked pretty good on Google Earth, so I decided to pack up all the camera gear and hit the road. Today feels like one of the warmest days of the year. Uh, it is absolutely roasting today, which is brilliant news because of course we are shooting a drone video today and that means we've got clear blue skies. Uh, I'm going out kind of late evening so we should get the sun cutting across the landscape, creating some really nice shadows. It should look really good. But the bad news is, is that of course we are currently in the 1974 T2 VW camper van, which obviously doesn't have any air conditioning, right? <laughs> I mean it doesn't even have heating let alone air conditioning. So I'm trying my best to do everything I can to keep this thing cool. I've opened up the vents that are on the front of the bonnet that just let air in and it just hits me in the face. It's not doing much though. So we have got 20 minutes left of this journey and already <laughs> I can feel, I can feel the sweat patches forming. This was unexpected. There's a very rusted out old barn here. And I almost think it would be a cooler focus for the video than what I actually planned. Uh, I'd found some solar panels on Google Maps and I thought it'd be cool to kind of fly over the top of them. Yeah, I think this, I think this could be cooler. Having checked out the surrounding landscape, I concluded this was a really good find. I mean, we had barley fields stretching off into the distance, combine harvesters doing their bit in the surrounding fields, large pylons and power lines spanning across the landscape, and of course, we had the rusted out old barn, which was going to be the focal point of all of the drone flying, at least, that was the plan. All in all, I was pretty happy with this place, and as the sun was coming lower in the sky, I thought it's probably about time that we start flying. So this is my new DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus Black Edition. It has exactly the same specs as the standard Phantom 4 Pro Plus, it just looks a whole ton cooler in black. And I have to say, the images that this thing produces are absolutely stunning. I would run you through the specs, but I think the images speak for themselves. I mean, we have 4K at 100 megabytes a second, so the same as my Sony a7R2, and as a Mavic user, all I can say is, it's like going from a smartphone camera to a digital SLR. It's night and day. It's just the tiniest little details that you notice between the two clips. The fact that I can actually see each individual piece of barley on the ground and each individual leaf on the trees Honestly, I can't believe how much of a difference it makes. To say that I'm chuffed to bits is an understatement. I'm honestly blown away by the footage from this camera. I cannot believe the state we're in in 2017 that you can get a camera at this high quality on the bottom of a drone at such a low cost. It's mind blowing. It actually is mind blowing. I, I, I honestly can't believe that they've managed to pull it off. This is my new favorite piece of camera equipment, hands down and it looks especially good in black. <laughs> 